Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto in China and today I'm very much enthused to introduce this amazing guy all the way from Spain. No, You've come to... no I'm from Kenya. Okay, <laughs> you are from Kenya but from Spain. Yes, but I live in Spain. Yeah, the super amazing Chef Matiko. Hi guys, my name is Chef Matiko. I think it could be good if we, were, we could do this video in reverse, but because you are walking this way, yeah. uh, because of the light, yeah, but, yeah, but sure, it's okay. Sure. Yeah. So my name is Chef Matiko. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Ana Ano Ana Anoto Ano China. Anoto in China. Yes. It's like anatomy. Uh, yeah, anatomy. <laughs> yes. Welcome back, yeah. and uh, please um, support him by subscribing, and also kindly go and check Chef Matiko on YouTube because that is one way of supporting me. Yeah, sure, yes, sure. so this is your channel. Yeah. You know me, I have that mouth mouth. Yeah, it's okay. Mouth mouth, you know, you know mouth mouth. Yeah, I know. Okay, I can are... talk until tomorrow. Yeah, so because of that, yeah. just control me with your ch because it's uh, your of channel. All, I want to see how you, the angles you normally hold your camera because you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, you used to, I used to shoot with a phone, mm -hmm. but I acquired this and um, some angles I normally see my face is too much. So I'm learning how you hold your... Me, probably, I, 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 I've never learned, like, I've never learned to hold my, my camera. I just, as long as my head is okay and uh, people can see me, uh, well, that's it. I don't really, really have a tactic because I've not done any course of, uh, yeah. Is it okay for the camera to be up or... Like this? No, somewhere here. Here? Yeah. Or uh, it's okay... <laughs> Me, I think it's okay like this. It's, it there. can be... It can be like this. It okay. can be as long as they see you. Okay. Because uh, I'm not like a professional in uh, in videography. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Anyway, we are here for the moment. Yeah. First of all, welcome from uh, Spain. Thank you so much. Now, mm -hmm. tell me, because uh, I've been doing a documentary about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhansi. Hidden what? The hidden uh -huh. treasures of, <laughs> of Nyabuhansi. Uh -huh. A big topic. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. uh, I'm told that there's gold around this place. By who? Marwa told me that. Uh, around, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Nyabuhansi, uh -huh. in Nyabuhansi, uh -huh. I have a feeling, yes, there is a line huh? yeah. from because we mine in Korea, we yeah. mine, there's a lot of uh, various places where they mine gold. Okay. But I feel, mm -hmm. uh, I've, it's, not, it's not confirmed, but I feel that. Uh, there must be, mm -hmm. there must be mm -hmm. a line. Okay. There must be. It's a not line. confined, but there must be. Maybe yes. in the future they will. Maybe in the future, it. maybe um, my grandchildren. Yeah. They will be lucky to mine gold. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. So uh, with that concept, yeah. and uh, you can see, Nyabuansi has uh, created so many uh, mm -hmm. talents, mm -hmm. and these talents were hidden. Mm -hmm. But uh, with this regime of social media, mm -hmm. YouTube, and you guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys have been able to embrace mm -hmm. YouTube and grown. So actually, I'm doing a documentary about you guys, about yes. you, Chef Matiko, mm -hmm. because uh, without YouTube, mm -hmm. I could not know you. True. So, why YouTube? Um, at the moment, eh, mm -hmm. uh, I started my YouTube channel in 2017, mm -hmm. while uh, I was still, uh, I was actually joining uh, Campus. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. The reason as to why I started my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I used to watch YouTube videos mm -hmm. and want to become like uh, people like uh, Gordon Ramsay. Do you know Gordon Ramsay? No, no, no. He's one of the, the biggest chefs in the world. Okay. So because I started like, uh, I really loved relaxing, maybe watching, I, I loved watching YouTube yeah. and the videos. Yeah. And I used to say, I want to be like these people. I want. I never had like a feeling that this thing pays or mm -hmm. I just say I want to be like these people. Mm -hmm. I want to post videos. Mm -hmm. So that's why I started posting videos. Mm -hmm. The aim being mm -hmm. uh, once, you know, I when I joined uh, college, mm -hmm. I was called to study. I applied for civil civil engineering. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I, I wonder why chef? chef why Matico? chef? I'm going to tell you the power of the mouth. Yeah. One day was I, I was in a uh, high school mm -hmm. one of our biology teacher mm -hmm. is called mr mosenda maybe mm -hmm. mr mosenda will watch this uh asked mm -hmm. the students mm -hmm. what do you want to be mm -hmm. because i was that that cheeky boy yeah. and i loved joking a lot mm -hmm. i said i want to be a chef joking yeah but and he told me uh, being a chef you can you can't can be a chef mm -hmm. 
But I used to think that uh, being a chef is not. I used to think that it's not like. Uh, I used to see good chefs, mm -hmm. but I never like wanted like to say that or wanted to be a chef yeah. in my life. Yeah. But the power of the mouth. Mm -hmm. So when I joined um, um, campus, mm -hmm. I went to like do civil. Mm -hmm. I went with the papers with everything. Yeah. When I arrived at the gate. Mm -hmm. They were a lot of requirements, mm -hmm. and uh, I never had those requirements like the money. They, they were very expensive. Remember, I come from a very poor background. Mm -hmm. Even when I was going in campus, mm -hmm. that that first month in campus, mm -hmm. I did like a fundraising. People from the village oh, came yeah, to yeah, contribute. Getangita, mambo. Yes, is very famous. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> and the rest of the team. Nice can I get a challenge? Yes, you can, but it's not my channel. I'll bring oh. next. Hello, guys. Next time. I'm goes yeah, by name. I am Getangita. Please don't forget subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to 10,000 subscribers. How many subscribers yeah. do you have? I have. 4,000. Oh, you have a lot. Yeah. Hey. He's the smallest YouTuber but in the I village. Want a million. You are monetized. You will... Sure. Hey, I'm struggling. Eh? You'll, you'll be monetized. <laughs> yeah, very soon I'll be monetized. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the Tangita is the, the youngest. Yeah, the youngest. And uh, you see, he wants to be to have a million. And you will have a million. Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, so yeah. keep on keep on working hard. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, which school are you? I'm going now to high school. High school. He's, he just finished primary. I'm Are telling you, he's the youngest YouTuber, the youngest YouTuber around. YouTuber. And he's doing very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 4,000 is not a joke. 4,000, uh, hey, 4,000. It's, it's not a joke. A, oh. If it's I get that 4,000, my friend, I will <laughs> dig it. <laughs> I will dig it proper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a documentary <laughs> about you. I'm going to get a hundred. I'm going to get a hundred. I'm going to get a Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is getting it. Yeah, so yeah. you were talking about something. Yeah? So you, are, you joined campus, you found that uh, those materials were expensive. Were very expensive. And you know what I did? Fundraising. Yes. Yeah. I called my cousin. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Nairobi now? Yeah, he was living in Nairobi, he was working. He has been, he, I've never told him that he's my mentor. Oh, your cousin. I've never told him that he has been my mentor. Uh -huh. But that guy used to help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, we've, he's bigger than me, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I think I was one of his favorite kids he mentioned it somewhere mm -hmm. but i never like called him yeah so I, i've never told him that uh, i've never even said on camera oh this is super this guy exclusive. yes yeah this guy mm -hmm. i called him mm -hmm. hey bro is my cousin mm -hmm. actually is nyangwe for those people who knows nyangwe is a brother to nastro nyangwe nyangwe nyangwe, nyangwe yeah. a brother to it's nastro oh so oh. yes so i called this guy mm -hmm. i told him so i'm here i wanted to do civil there are a lot of uh, materials he told me you must do a uh, a course that requires skills, like technical, technical skills. skills. Yes. Ah, uh, he told me. I told him there is hospitality, this and this. Mm -hmm. He told me do hospitality. Mm -hmm. I never even had a uniform. That mm -hmm. guy bought me a uniform. He was the first guy mm -hmm. that bought me a uniform. Mm -hmm. He sent me the money right on th that point. Mm -hmm. He bought me a uniform, mm -hmm. and that's why how mm -hmm. I became a chef, like so a professional chef. It's like you did into faculty, or did you? I never. I don't understand. It's a faculty transfer is when maybe you've been called to do yes. civil uh, engineering. Yeah. yeah. I, now I changed. Mm -hmm. the, immediately when I entered school. Okay. Immediately. I have never been in a civil engineering class. Okay. Yes. So, mm -hmm. that's for how I became a chef. Okay. And I loved, I really loved it because mm -hmm. eh, um, I became uh, one of the best students mm -hmm. in the entire uh campus where did you study i studied in nairobi uh in uh started in a, a campus called kinyanju it's a technical okay. it deals with more of a skilled okay yes so it was the, one of the best students mm -hmm. because i remember mm -hmm. uh, and i used just to watch it's from youtube yeah. watching and yeah that Building eager that like yeah like wanting to become like somebody yeah so that's how i opened my youtube channel mm -hmm. trying to uh Show people mm -hmm. now. When now I, there was a problem when I, I joined now um, uh, to do uh, the the chef thing. Yeah. Why? Because um, even at home, yeah. Uh, my 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 neighbors, mm. not all the neighbors, but in the village, yeah. used to believe mm -hmm. only women can become chefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they used to know that uh, mm -hmm. 
um, uh, yeah, yeah so what, what what why is this guy going to yeah. do this course yeah. he's here a woman or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. do you get it yeah. so i wanted to prove that i'm not a uh, 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 chef mm -hmm. being a chef yeah. is all, not only for the ladies mm -hmm. you see yeah and that's why mm -hmm. now i started to showcase what i can do better mm -hmm. yeah do you get it yeah so i i joined i did i did uh, the course mm -hmm. And now I started uh, my YouTube channel to show mm -hmm. uh, the people what I can do yeah. better. So and that's how I found myself. Yes, a, Matiko. Yes. Yeah. Now, moving swiftly, <laughs> um, you finished your course. Yes. And now, um, first of all, how was it uh, after you finished? Did you find opportunities? And uh, how did you transition from Kenya to Spain? Um, the thing is, eh? Mm -hmm. When I finished, uh, when I finished, not uh, really finishing, you know, with technical uh, courses, yeah. you have to go f uh, to attachment each and every year. Yeah. So as we were doing like neck exams, N yeah. like the whole country, yeah. you see? Yeah. So after every year, you have to look for internship. Me, I used to say, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to go to uh, uh, in an internship mm -hmm. in, uh, in just a hotel. Yeah. Me, I'm going in a five star hotel i used yeah. to say that five star five star hotel if not if not mm -hmm. i'm not going for attachment okay. the power of the mouth yeah one day mm -hmm. now i started even in, in my school mm -hmm. they were applying mm -hmm. the students yeah. earlier 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 before even the exam yeah. they were applying for internship yeah. to to hotels mm -hmm. they went to uh five star hotels in nairobi and me was just seated yeah Relaxing. So me, I even when we finished the exam, yeah. I took the papers. Uh, I took the papers for the uh, to look for the apartment, yeah. and I came home. Mm -hmm. That was 2018, mm -hmm. 2017, 20 around 2018 yeah. August. Yeah. So what happened? Mm -hmm. There was a group of uh, people mm -hmm. going to Masai Mara yeah. uh, for tour. Yeah. There was uh, one of my cousins there. Mm -hmm going to to tour masai mara yeah. yes mm -hmm. uh is one of uh, my best cousins also we are so close because we are age mates yeah so i told him mm -hmm. because i don't have a chance to go to masai mara yeah just take this paper mm -hmm. and drop it mm -hmm. to serena hotel oh just go and drop it serena mara mara serena, mara serena. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah this is the one of the biggest hotels here in kenya is a five star yeah. it's well known mm -hmm. and is in the in the middle of uh uh, Masai Mara, like you can imagine what I'm saying. Like you sit here, the animals are there, so it's one of the uh, expensive hotels in Masai Mara. Yeah. Five star. It gives you an exclusive encounter with the like yes, wild animals. I, 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 yes. Yeah. Like I said, I, I told you just go and drop it, yeah. and he dropped it. Mm -hmm. And within like two days, they called me. Ah, uh, we don't have a chance for this uh, um, August, mm -hmm. but if you want, you can come in in uh, november mm -hmm. but now you know we were supposed to go to school at uh open the school in january yeah so what i did i said yes mm -hmm. one month is okay for me mm -hmm. you'll wait I'll, i'm going to wait yeah because these chances mm -hmm. it's not easy to find attachment in this kind of the hotels yeah because they take uh, maybe students from big schools yeah. you know big yeah. schools like boma yeah. Utali, Utali yeah. UHI, I don't know, UHI, something like that, yeah, yeah. and uh, maybe mm -hmm. few in. Uh, so the chances to get an attachment there, mm -hmm. they are very less. Yeah. If your school is not like known all over Kenya, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I said, now this is one uh, an opportunity mm -hmm. that comes only once, right, yeah. and me, I, I love grabbing opportunities like. Yeah. I do, uh, when opportunity comes, mm -hmm. I just take it like yeah. boom yeah. and work for it. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, you say Bele Kuzuri. Yeah. When I when I went there, yeah. I worked hard. I became smart. Mm -hmm. Before I finished my attachment, mm -hmm. they asked me, "Do you want to come back?" Mm -hmm. Of course. The second year, mm -hmm. I was. They called me Serena mm -hmm. Hotel mm -hmm. for my attachment. Mm -hmm. Same to the third year. Mm -hmm. So I got a very nice experience, mm -hmm. and I had hopes. I might, if working in Kenya, yeah. I might work with uh, Serena Hotel or one of those big hotels. Okay. Because I was feeling that mm -hmm. that is where I belong. Yeah. And uh, now when I finished, mm -hmm. uh, in between my, my studies, mm -hmm. uh, I, 
I had a, I met my girlfriend who is now my wife. Mm -hmm. So when I finished uh, campus, mm -hmm. I we got married. Mm -hmm. So it was either I stay in Kenya mm -hmm. or we relocate to Europe. And remember, I had just finished school. Yeah. So it was easier for me to adopt than her. She had okay. already uh, she had a job. Okay. So so she it was either hard to come to to stay in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Or I go to Europe, okay, okay. and her to come in Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's it's logic. Mm -hmm. If you know, uh, with the jobs, mm -hmm. with somebody's calling me, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. So with the jobs and stuff, mm -hmm. so I we relocated. I relocated to Europe. Yeah.